guys, so today I'm going to show you how I made my whelping box. Um, this is a DIY tutorial. I will show you all the materials I use, how much I paid for them, um, and here we go. Here's a list of the materials that I use to make the whelping box, and also a list of the prices and where I bought them from. Obviously, you can go wherever you want whatever is easiest for you. This is just what I use personally. First off, this is the kiddie pool that I got. It is 59 inches. It's the pretty much the biggest plastic kiddie pool you can buy. And it was 15 bucks at Walmart. As you can see, I have a lab, so it's uh, pretty big even for her. So these kiddie pools are actually um, usually out of stock at Walmart. Um, so I would suggest going to their website first, typing in the 59 inch kiddie pool. It's uh, by Summer Waves, I think. And seeing which Walmart they're in stock at before you go, or else you're just gonna be going around to a bunch of Walmarts. That would um, save you a lot of time, I think. Got pool noodles, which are going to be for the pig rail around the kiddie pool. Hi guys, day two, I'm back. Gonna start putting the pig railing on. Got my noodles ready, my zip ties, my drill. Let's do this. All right, so these are the zip ties I got. I got them from Ace Hardware. They were like seven bucks. They're pretty long. Let's see, 18 inches. I got 10 of them in a pack, that should be enough. This is a really big pool compared to the small ones, and I use really big noodles because it's a large breed, so I figured everything needs to just be large. So you might can get smaller ones if you have a smaller dog. So I just did the first zip tie on the middle of the first noodle. It's pretty secure. I leave a spot right here. This is where the puppies, if they get stuck, this is where they would go, right under here. This is the whole purpose of a pig rail. Um, what I did is I drilled two holes, one here, one here, and I just put it right through there. Here, guys. Um, whelping pad. It's specifically made for this. I got the biggest version they had. I have to check the price, um, but I'm gonna see if it fits. It looks like it's gonna fit perfectly. And this is washable, so whenever you know she has the babies, then I gotta wash it. I probably order another one just so I have two. Oh, it's perfect. Probably gonna layer underneath it with some um, extra cushioning with some uh, towels and blankets so it's a little more cushioned in the so I decided to add a little entrance to it to make it a little easier for her to get in and out so I just uh, sliced off this part I used a razor blade and just it cuts right through it excuse me it pickups um, and then I'm going to use another noodle and I'm going to line this part so it's not uh, all jagged like that.
guys, so I was just going to add on here that Maddie, my lab, is due in about three weeks with her puppies. If you guys do want to subscribe or follow me, I'm going to be making um, a birthing video and everything we're going to do for the birth too. So I'm pretty excited. Here we go. Say hi, Maddie. She's tired. Bye.